Hi, I'm Adrian from Odsys and in this video I'm going to show you two things how to use uh, and how to look at the stats page from Odsys and how to uh, make predictions using the Poisson odds calculator so first things first uh, on the left side you have all the stats you need to analyze the match and start making uh, predictions on the left side you, ha you have the home team and on the right you have the away team you have all the parameters all the stats that Oswiz provide in the middle attack force defense and uh, shape and below the match you have the past uh, performance of uh, both teams depending on the package that you have subscribed to you will have access to a different number of matches I'm using uh, the legend package and I have access to the last uh, 20 matches for each team and at the top you have uh, a few options on filtering and sorting the matches before I tell you about these options I have to explain um, a little bit about the stats the last column is always that shows the stats for the current game attack defense and shape and on the left of this uh, game you have the previous matches and they are displayed uh, based on uh, the sorting option uh, and the closest uh, one is the one that is uh, closest to the current game so now because I'm sorting by date uh, this match is the most recent one and this is the oldest match but when I change the sorting I will get uh, here the most similar match based on attack similarity and this is the least uh, similar match based on attack similarity and same goes for other options so here is uh, the match that where the attack difference was closest to the current attack difference and this is where the attack difference was the biggest one option to filter the matches and help you uh, make predictions is uh, this checkbox that will filter games by the same type this means that on the left for the home team I will have only matches uh, where uh, the home team played at home and on the right I will have uh, matches where the away team played as guest. As you can see uh, there are some numbers in front of each of the sorting options. These are the keyboards shortcut uh, so I can more easily sort using the keyboards than the mouse. I have options from 1 to 7. Um, another thing to notice is that currently I have this uh, bar displayed uh, from the middle upwards or downwards this when the bar are going up from the middle it means the team on that side was superior so in this case uh, Manchester was superior to uh, its opponent which was Burnley as you can see from the match here and on this match Manchester was inferior with regard to attack to the team he, it was playing which means uh, Chelsea in this case and we have another option to see the difference between the teams this is the default mode and you can switch to candlestick uh, where when you have new when when the team is superior you have the full bars and when the team is inferior you have the empty bars this is borrowed from uh, stock exchange or uh, forex type of graphics and for this uh, display settings we also have a keyboard shortcut which is D that stands for display and you can switch from one option to another and we also have the uh, option to show colors or not depending on 
how easy it is for you to look at the data. And for this option, we also have keyboard shortcut, which is uh, C, that stands for colors. And now you have the bars grayed out. When they are colored, they are colored based on the result. Here I have a loss, here we have uh, draws, and here we have uh, wins for the team. When you mouse over a match in each of the sides, uh, on the other side, the system will try to uh, highlight uh, a similar match. So in this case, uh, on the left, I'm highlighting a game where Tottenham played Liverpool and the system will try to find uh, a game where Man United played Liverpool and it found one in this case. Below those uh, stats, you have a detailed presentation of that particular match where you have the shape, the first uh, half attack, first half defense, second half defense and uh, second half uh, attack along with the chances calculated based on the payouts from the uh, bookmakers. Uh, at the bottom you see the history of uh, the matches between Tottenham and Man United where uh, Tottenham played at uh, home and where uh, Man United played at home. This way you can look at the history between the teams and see if there is a big rivalry between them, uh, how they uh, fared in the recent matches and so on and so forth. Now obviously you're not here to look at some pretty graphs. You want to do something with them to make some predictions and make some uh, winning bets. And I will show you how I use this page to make my predictions. Obviously you don't uh, need to use the exact same strategy. You will have to make your own strategy, test it, and uh, only after you test it, you can confidently uh, place bets using this strategy. And uh, another disclaimer I have to, to make is that results may vary. Uh, I'm showing you just to use how to use the page. I'm not giving you a um, profitable strategy here to, to make bets. So always test before you place bets and always test your strategy. Now, first thing I do when I look at this page is filter the games by the same type. This way I can see only matches where Tottenham played at home and where Man United played away. Second thing I do is sort by attack difference and I try to find uh, similar matches similar to this one. And I see that there are two matches that are similar and this one is the most, most similar. So I click on it and I get a pop-up asking me to set how important should this match be in the formula that will determine the bets and the odds. So because this match seems very similar with regards to uh, attack, I will put three. Again, this is a personal preference. You can put uh, 10, you can put one. Uh, one thing you have to remember and consider is that the weights are uh, proportional to each other or relative to, to each other. So if I put a match, uh, I put importance or weight equal to 10. And on another match, I put an importance of three. This means that the second match is almost three times less important than the first one. If I put a weight of one for one match and 0 0.5 for uh, the second match, this means the first match is twice as important as uh, the second match. So in this case, I use three because it's pretty similar. Then I also take this match and this match, while it's not very similar, it's a little bit of a difference between the current game and this one, the difference between the attacks is pretty close. So I will also select this match 
to be used in the formula but I will put a weight of uh, one the same thing I look at the right side and actually I see that there are let's say this match is sort of similar but not that much so I put one here now obviously this match is a lot less similar than this one compared to these two matches so I go back here and I increase the importance okay now another thing is in order for the predictions to work you have to have many matches uh, included in uh, the selection uh, at the moment there are only three the system can give you predictions with only two matches one on the for the left team and one for the uh, right team but I go a little bit further and I try to find other similar matches so I sort by defense difference um, I see I think this this match is uh, sort of similar I put an importance of one on the other side I see that there are actually two matches that are similar so I put here an importance of uh, two and an importance of two now I already have six matches that are included in this formula um, but I go a little bit further I also sort by shape difference I try to find that if there are any matches that are similar and I can say that it's not that it doesn't have uh, matches that are similar enough for me to take into account so I just stick with these six matches on the right side of the screen now I have um, the average uh, goals uh, attributed to uh, Tottenham and the average goals attributed to Man United based on this uh, two uh, parameters and using the Poisson uh, distribution the system will create some predictions you see here at the top you have a graphical representation of the end result predictions and below that you have uh, other options for uh, various type of results that you can bet on now in order to make use of this predictions made by the system you need to provide the payout that your bookmaker is giving you so that you can determine which bets are valuable and which are not so in this case I will use the the payouts from here so it's 2.26 3.26 and 3.28 as you can see the system is already giving you it's calculating the value and is highlighting whenever it finds any valuable bets so you we have a value bet for a win for Tottenham or on double chance we have 1x and 1 2 value bets uh, on the rightmost uh, column you have the Kelly criterion which informs you how much of your betting account should you wager on this result obviously this is just for uh, reference because if you get three matches that inform you to put 30% of your betting account uh, then you would only be able to place uh, bets on three matches and you don't want to do that you just want to uh, place as many bets as possible so that you limit the risk of wiping out your account in case there is a streak of uh, bad luck below the result and double chance type of bets you have both team to score and over under if you fill out this uh, fields with the payouts from the bookmakers you will get um, a value bet so <coughs> if 
for example here I can say for over 1.5 the bookmaker is giving me uh, 1.3 and in this case I would get a value bet if he were to give me 1.1 then I still get a value bet but it's 1% and probably not enough for me to take that bet the value bets are highlighted only if they exceed uh, 5% uh, that's something that we chose because if it's below 5% then maybe you shouldn't bet you still have a risk and it may not be worth the time to place the bet and uh, the commissions and everything and that's about it uh, with the predictions obviously you have to find a strategy um, you have to decide how how many matches at minimum you have to have on each side before you are confident to make a, a bet how many matches in total should be uh, selected before you decide to make a bet and so on and so forth but uh, this is the basics and uh, this is enough for today uh, have a nice time and uh, happy betting see you next time